So the garage is finally finished. And now I can start working on Sisu after the trip. Uh, it's a long overdue maintenance to be done on a bike. I would like to make a mini series about the maintenance, the problems I had, the what I'm gonna fix and how I'm gonna fix it. And the reason is that I am very much the new guy into the motorcycling. I have a bike for the, this is the first bike. And I have a bike for five years, and when I started on the trip, I was kind of a beginner rider. I think I ride a little bit better now, but in terms of mechanical stuff, I kind of tried to learn as much uh, as I could before the trip, but no, it was not enough. So, some of the problems I had came out of the lack of me knowing what maintenance I should do on the bike. Um, more, more than how to do it, because you can always find people who do that, but um, that was a big problem. So, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. This is 2013 Honda CB500X. Um, there's not much on it um, except the rally weight kit, uh, bigger wheels and front uh, higher suspension. Uh, there's protection on it, is the SW Motec bars and the rally weight stuff, some badge bars and all that. Uh, Long, tall screen, uh, power bracket, some auxiliary lights, LED conversion. Apart from that, it is really uh, kind of a CB500X as it is. Um, we have ridden together 102,000 kilometers, is that right? In five years, on a trip, it is 54,000 kilometers on the trip during 14 months. 12, a uh, thousand is a service interval, that means five service intervals and two service intervals at 24. Now, by the book, you should do bike wheels and other things. Twice the installers, twice the installers, and you should check the installers, and you should check the wheelbarrow, 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 and you should and 12,000 kilometers is a long, long service interval. So, at the end, what I did is seven instead of five oil changes and six oil filter changes, mainly due to the background of the bike, um, and I got the water in the engine. I changed spark plugs once and they were still okay. I did seven air filter washes. I have a washable air filter and I, everybody should get a washable air filter if they go on this trip. I checked the valve clearances once and in 100,000 kilometers this bike is just out of the spec, tiny bit, which I think is pretty impressive. Now we come to the bearings. Now the bearings is probably the main problem I had uh, on the whole trip. So the rally rate bearings in the front wheel are the tiny KTM ones and I have three times had to change them. Um, in the rear there is still Honda OM bearing after 100,000 kilometers. So the rear wheel is absolutely amazing. The sprocket bearing I had to change. Swing arm, uh, absolutely fine, reload no problem at all and um, the uh, suspension bearings I had to change almost all the bearings uh, in the suspension. Um, lubing clutch cables and lubing the throttle cables. I have something wrong with my uh, levers so I had three clutch cables snapped during the trip and uh, my um, uh, throttle cable which is closing is actually broken out as well. In terms of chain sprockets, I did a whole trip with two chains and uh, two front sprockets. I changed them twice and I changed one rear sprocket. And uh, I mean that's some crazy, crazy, crazy wear and tear on the front sprockets. Um, in terms of the tires, um, these Shingos are actually the ones which I bought in Kazakhstan and I rode them all the way back. Uh, in Kazakhstan you could still probably ride them for another 5,000 kilometers. Here they are going to be at the end of their life. 
So that's the maintenance list. The broken list is actually not that long. I broke Rally Ray foot packs. One is completely bent and one snapped. The bash plate got enormous amount of beating and it is very well made but at some point I had it actually pressed against the engine block already. Broke the mirror, plastics in the front and an auxiliary light uh, glass on one side when I crashed in the run. That was a pretty bad one. Suspension guts reservoir, which is on this side mounted on the engine, that snapped off. And I think that is uh, a bad design, but uh, the rally rig already redesigned it and they moved the reservoir from this side to the other side up above the exhaust, uh, which is good. I broke um, the exhaust and the, the exhaust pipe when I crashed. Um, I had to cut it off and weld it again. I had luggage holder brake on me once, uh, luckily only one mounting point, so I was able to hold it with a zip tie until it got welded. And then I broke the speedo LED backlight. The speedo itself works, but the, the backlight doesn't work. And the reason for that would be the drowning the bike in the river. So that would be what I broke. Now, um, that is not bad. I mean, I didn't really have a problem with clutch or um, engine or cooling for that matter, or some kind of a uh, rear shock exploding on me and squirting the oil over the place. Uh, comparing to other bikes, this little Honda held up really, really well. I think, well done Honda, well done Rally Raid. Um, it has been it has been amazing right so now i'm gonna start uh, working on the maintenance all the items on the list needs to be done uh, especially the valve clearances especially the uh, rear shock and um, i'm gonna put um, links to all the manufacturers um, in the description and there's gonna coming a few more episodes on how i'm getting along so see you later